Hey everybody, Zachimus Prime, aka Zachimus Prime here with the Transformers Reviews. We're going to do something a little bit different today. I've wanted to review models for a while because I've got a lot of models that I really enjoy and that I really enjoy building and that I really enjoy showing off. But I'm not really sure how to do it, so I'm just going to, I'm going to try something out. Please comment, please give me some feedback, please let me know how this is. Um, and if we like it, maybe we'll try it some more, maybe we won't. If we don't like it, I don't know. Anyhow, so today we're going to be reviewing this little D-style Galfigar. And uh, this is from the, the show Galgigar Final. Now, the story of Galgigar is as follows. Um, the whole thing about um, the robots, the Galgigar robots, is um, Earth at one point discovered this... Uh, robot lion came to earth dropped off some kid in the middle of but fuck nowhere and uh and then proceeded to uh to go and i don't know like turn himself over to the authorities or whatnot i i, I don't know exactly how that happened um and uh scientists started you know studying this this lion called galleon and uh they discovered that it you know, combined with these other machines and they were able to extrapolate enough data out of it to make their own machines to combine with Galleon, right? Right. So they made, they made uh, uh, like one that turned into a train, and one that turned into a jet thing, and one that turned into like a drill tank thing, and they combined with Galleon to form Gal Gygar. Um, anyhow, at the end of that series, Galleon is just like, see, I wouldn't want to be there, be ya, and then he's just like bailed the fuck out of there, um, leaving humans with nothing. So they developed their own machines based off the data that they extrapolated, based off the data that was in Galleon, and they made Galfigar, which is a second generation. This is all human built, there's no alien technology in here. And so but it follows the same formula like the same formula by the way if they ever make a solo shigokin galfigar i'm like 100 percent on there because damn i love everything about this, this this show so you've got your little guy here this replaces the um the 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 the, the train guy we're gonna stick that off to the side and this one is basically the same as the other stealth bomber one and this is basically the same as the other. Anyhow, this guy, though, is completely different. This is the, um, oh, what do they call him? I forget what, the, I mean, I know that, I know that his, his smaller mode is just known as Figar, but I think that they called this guy, I don't remember what it was. Anyhow, so this little guy here is the human built core module of, um, the gal Figar. And this this model kit is actually really cool, but it doesn't stay together very well at all. Like all these parts want to come off um, at the slightest provocation, and so I'm kind of holding handling this gently. But in this mode here, he's kind of um kind of a um kind of kind of a thing. He's a thing. He's a thing that does things. Not a whole lot of things, but he does some of them. And, uh, yeah, it's a thing. Um, everything on here kind of transforms, transforms through excessive use of parts forming. So bear with me just a minute. Let's get this guy transformed up to do that. Basically, we just take them all the way apart <laughs> and replace the parts with other parts. So take this out, pull this out, pull these off. This is a part that we no longer need. We're going to replace that with this. Um, yes, because this pegs onto there. That's his new butt armor. Peg this into, whoops, that goes, let me see. Let me put his foot out. Okay, it goes this way. little legs 
that don't stand up. That don't stand up at all, damn it. God damn it. Anyhow, put this down like that. The arms basically go right back in, but first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull this part off. And pull this part off. These are really tiny parts, by the way. We're going to flip this around so that now the claw is facing back. And then we're going to reinstall this on the back of the arm. And then put this on there. Do the same with the other arm. Pull that off. Pull this off. Pull this little golden claw out. Flip it around. Put it back into the same peg. Put this on. There's a little hole in the back. Like so. And then because we've got the whole like super deformed look going on. Let's plug that in. He, of course, needs a ridiculously oversized head. And there. So when he combines up with um, Guy, that's, his, that's the guy's name. It's just Guy. Guy Shishio. And this is his Vigar little fighting mode here. And he fights the bad guys like so with the use of his machines. And of course, you know, you can do some of the, um, some, not all, but some of the, uh, the machine modes. Let me see. There's a machine mode where actually, I don't know that you can do them with this. Looking at this, I know that there's a mode where like the drills go onto the arms, like his arms actually go into them. And I don't know that that works with this. Someday when I work up the courage to actually uh, review my solo Shigokin Gao Gaigar, I'll show you some of the uh, interesting modes. But as it is, I'm too afraid of just fucking it up royally to um, to do that. Um, I know that there's more paint apps I could have put on here. I didn't, actually didn't put any paint apps on this at all. Like this paint app, that's pretty done. And I think there's a paint app on the eyes that like black around the guy liner that's pre-done um i could have there's things that i could have painted on here but i didn't like i could have painted in the cockpits there this is all pre-painted and pre-tampo printed which is nice because this is a kotobikiya kit kotobikiya is actually really good about pre-painting some of their parts um so that when you just snap assembly it it's actually really nice looking um but I didn't put any paint on here, and I could have. But that's his uh, combined mode. He's got a little bit of posability. His arms are on ball joints. If you move this around, these are going to all fall off. Ball joint on his head. A little bit of a waist joint here. Yeah. Maybe this wasn't the best model to start with. A little bit of hip posability, not a whole lot, but just enough to, you know, give the impression that he's got something going on, but not actually have anything going on. He's got enough that he can stand there, damn it. <laughs> Most of his posability is going to be focused on the um on the the whole the Gal Figar mode. And let's get him let's get him into Gal Figar mode. So interestingly enough, actually getting him in, into Gal Figar mode. Woo, that came off. Getting him into Gal Figar mode is actually fairly fairly close to um, how the figure, how, how the full scale figure would work if we had a full scale figure. So let's pull this off real quick. And let's pull this off real quick. These are going to extend out. And let's put them back in. And now we're going to reinstall this so that the black skirts are forward. Yeah, we're just going to let that all fall off. Not a problem. Because, be a kuwaz, we're going to pull this out. We're going to pull these off entirely. These are actually going to slide in right here. 
because that's where they go in this mode. And I think these actually fold in. I'm not sure offhand. We'll have to see in just a second as I try to reassemble everything. All right. So for this one, we're going to split this here. Um, this technically flips straight up, even though there's not actually any clearance for that. You got to kind of pull it off because the heel won't clear the back of this. Pull it out. Um, if I recall, this actually included a little peg, but you kind of manipulate that around so that the peg faces forward. Extend this out. Let me show you that again, because you can't rotate this. You got to pull it straight out. The polycap will stay in there. So we're going to kind of use the peg that's in the bottom of this to maneuver that polycap. So it's facing up like that. Plug it back in and go like that. Now we've got a peg inside the foot. That's going to peg into this hole right here. Oops, put that on backwards. <laughs> like that. There's some legs. All right, for this part here, we're going to pull the back panel of these off. We're not going to need this for combined mode. We're going to just put those aside, put this aside, put these aside. So we just are left with these ones, which we'll get to in just a little bit. For this one, we're going to pull this off of here. like that. These are going to split apart. And you'll see here that um, that there's these panels right here, right? Well, we don't need these either. What we're going to do is we're going to replace them with this panel, which is like a, like, Basically how this was how this would be in a full-size toy a full-size full-featured toy. So this is actually two fins combined, right? And then um, they would They would fold down like so so you'd have one nose cone and then both fins So let's pull this out Put this on there's a shoulder joint that'll peg right into there like so do it for the other side pull this arm out put that onto there it's a building project but it's a fun building project you know it doesn't suck or anything like that and i can say that these shoulders definitely fit in a lot better than um than these ones do I'm not sure exactly what the reason for that is. Maybe these are slightly bigger. And uh, since I've had it in the combined mode mo most of the time, when I tried to put these back in, they just didn't want to fit tightly. Hmm, I don't know. We're going to take these. Hopefully this is the right time to do this, and I don't regret everything. We've got this tab right here, and that's going to fit into this slot right here. Like that. And like that. Now we're going to come around to the back. And you can just barely see it through here. But that hole that, that this piece clipped onto in the back, that's now available back here. So we're going to... All right, let's take off this arm that off take that off take these off these I'll actually go so this becomes his forearm here and 
this will peg into, there's a little joint in here. Yeah, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have put these on quite yet. These little tabs fit into those little slots. And there's, by the way, a slot on the shoulder as well that they fit into. Bam and bam. These just come right back on. Put that on there. Peg this onto his back. It'll come in between the arms. Then you'll have to like feel in there for that peg. There we go. And then let's give him a couple hands. All right, everybody, let's give him a hand. <laughs> All right. And then last but not least, Faceplate attaches onto his face. <laughs> He's like, nobody knew who I was till I put on the mask. And then this attaches onto his head. And now he is Gal Figar. Dun, dun. <laughs> yeah, this, is, this is a fun little figure. I love it. Uh, I know it's kind of fiddly, and I know it's, uh, you know, super formed or whatnot, but I mean, I really enjoy it. I think it looks great, even though I haven't, you know, painted, like I could have painted the sections here. I could have painted like a bunch of stuff on this. I could have made this bigger, like look even better if I, you know, put some work into it. But as it is, I think it's great. In, in terms of posability, his head's still on this, like, big old ball joint here. Surprisingly, it does not, it, like, the armor and whatnot around here does not really encumber his posability at all. He's got ball joints here, which will come out, but it allows for, like, a little bit of movement around there. Rotation. That wants to fall off. Like I said, it is kind of fiddly, but I still love it. He's got a little bit of posability in here. The polycap at his elbow allows for some rotation. His his wrist is on a ball joint. His legs are going to move a little bit, but they're um, pretty hampered by the skirt in here. Um, I mean, he's got big old ball joints on his hips, so like he'll he'll stand he'll stand quite nicely. <laughs> And he looks like super cute and kind of imposing all at the same time, which is great. Like, it's super wonderful. Let's get all of these excess parts thrown off to the side. Now, one of the things that I like about this is that it comes with all these little options that you can do with it. Um, so, for example, like he comes with, um, you can take off this arm here, this hand, and you can put on his hand for when he's projecting a shield. which is cool. Um, of course, you can just simply pull this arm off. And then there's his broken magnum right there. And um, if you want to, you can pull off these chest panels here, put his arms together, and he can do the hell in heaven. Whoops, I didn't actually pull that. This needs to come all the way out. There we go. Now the ball joint came with it. Let's 
which he only uses one time in that in that little OAV, Cow Gygar final, and he uses it. I'm not going to tell you. You should watch it yourself. So that's cool. Just goes in to crush something with his fists. Pull that back out real quick. Uh, again, this is a snap fit kit, so parts of it are going to want to fall off, maybe. Um, just be patient with it. Um, understand that, you know, nothing in here is really glued together. Um, some of it by necessity, some of it by um, convenience. Of course, some of these joints, some of these parts you can glue together if you want to, and they won't affect the functionality of the part of the kit. Be careful what you do, because some of the things, if you glue together, they will affect the functionality of the kit. Actually, let's leave this off for... No. He also has his little star driver. If you pull these off... Um, in the original Gal Gygar, he had additional star driver units that had to be installed on the ends of the wings. Um, this one's got them built into... The um the stealth gal two, I guess it's stealth gal three. No, I don't know. There is a um there is a star driver stealth gal add on. It's a P Bondi exclusive for the solo Chikokin one. It also costs almost as much as the base solo of Chikokin, so I didn't get it. Even though it technically would make my uh, gal Gygar complete. So there he is with these little clear parts installed. And then last but not least, you can also have him. You can pull this hand off. And he comes with a cute little dividing driver. Which just, you got these two pegs right here. And they will plug into these holes on his, uh, on his arm. <laughs> so he can he can fly up and uh come on down and make a fighting arena. Um also worth noting he does have a little peg stand here for uh I think that's gonna be the right size for your kind of standard um action figure stands that the uh like the Tamashi stands and um uh Figma and uh Mm, you know, a lot of a lot of places all use the same size, and so a lot of fun stuff here. I really like this this model. It was fun to put together. It's fun to play with. I know things come off like constantly, but that being said, like it looks great, it feels great, it plays great. I really enjoy it. Uh, I wish I had more of these guys actually, but anyhow. Thanks everybody for watching. I know this is weird. I'm probably not going to get as many views on this. Um, but if you liked it, leave a comment. I want to get some feedback on this. If if I get enough positive uh, response, um, I, I will I will do more. Um, if not, then maybe I'll just kind of leave this to the side. I don't know. Everybody, thanks for watching. You guys are all awesome. All of you guys. You're awesome. Two thumbs up. Everybody be good to each other and have a great day. See ya.